How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science, the ultimate brick built DIY show. Today, my name is Riley. My name is always Riley. Today we're going to be building a robot that will ask you questions and then if you get the questions right, you will get treats. Pretty simple. Essentially it's going to be a cage that you can see through. There's going to be snacks in the cage and then there's going to be a robot kind of guarding the cage like the cage is the robot. The robot is the cage. Anyway, we can put in any question we want, like, wh who's the president of the United States of America? And then we'll have an arm that will rotate a disc, and then there'll be a stack of candies, and it'll just go pew, 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 and it'll fall, and so you'll get candy, essentially. All right, step one. We grab a base plate, and we start building a cage. Okay, grab some Technic bricks, and then... This cage is really important. It's kind of like a metaphor. Like even though you want something in life, you can't have it. You know, you have to do work to get things. So you have to, you have to remember questions that you will never need to know. Anyway, you get the point. Now that I'm looking at this, it for sure needs to be taller. It's not jaw dropping enough. So I want to give this robot a personality, so later in the video I'm actually going to record parts of me talking. Um, so we need to give it a name, a name, a personality, and a voice. It's very important that we give it a voice so that people will be happier than they were when before they saw it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One hour. Okay. <laughs> we're still not even close. Um. Here's the thing, the speaker on this thing, it sucks. So my thought is simply unattach it and take this new speaker that is quite a bit bigger. There is, however, a chance that this will go horribly wrong and um, ruin the entire thing. Hopefully that won't happen. I'm going to, what am I doing? You saw I just hook it up like this one. So like, I'm gonna snip this and then I'm gonna strip this wire. Melt a little onto there. Now solder is made of a metal that melts very easily. That's that's all I know about solder. <laughs> Assuming I did it right, this should be louder. It should make a noise when the power's on. If it doesn't, you guys hear that? Okay, what? Well, this should be really loud. Do you want a treat? Answer my question, and you might get a treat. Let's get back to work building this. Okay, next thing we need to make is a head. So we need to make this look pretty. So he's a robot, so he needs to have a face. Let's add a few of these. Okay, so now that we have those, we've successfully built up the head. So for the front, we need some sort of wall, because what's the plan here? So if we just create a few mechanisms with one, mo one motor, uh, should be really simple. In fact, for the one with the gum, literally unwrap it because these are all individually wrapped twice. We can just use that. Start with this. We need a stack, and then we need a pusher-puller mechanism, which is really simple, and build that all the time. And attach this to this, so now that spins like so. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to attach a rod or something to this, and attach another piece that's just simply like that. And now, as you can see, we have a really easy back and forth pusher-puller mechanism. So all we're gonna do is attach this down here towards the bottom. It's gonna work just like this where this will, well, I just really have to build this up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Okay, so all that's happening is just getting pushed that little gap there because we made that little thing. All right, now we just attach this to a small motor It's as simple as that. Now we just have to do that for the gum. How do we dispense this? Okay, that works. So second mechanism, check. Now the third mechanism, these mints. Guys. 
I have news. It is time for today's super special shout out. Today's super special shout out goes to AK Brick Films. Thank you so much for commenting down below. Super shout out squad or SSS. Guys, if you didn't know, if you comment super shout out squad or hashtag SSS down in the comment section down below, you have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. So make sure you do that. Let's get back to the build. Thank you, AK Brick Films. And that works great. Okay, so we are still only a few hours in, but boy, am I tired. Um, here's what we need to do. We need to stack all these in, put all these in. Hope they don't fall out the front. Okay, so gonna make a checklist. We need to, step one, put the face on. Step two, we need to build up this front wall. Since I'm running out of black bricks, it looks like I have a lot here, but these are all shapes that I can't really make a wall out of. Uh, so I'm actually going to take a bunch of these plates, black plates, we'll just form a little opening down there and we'll put this behind back here so people can't really tell. And as you can tell, I've already started and I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so I just figured out what I'm gonna do. You see all these holes in the walls? We're going to fill them with different colored plates. So the first step, take these out. I'm gonna keep the pillars in there. Take these out. Did I say that already? I think I did. Okay, step one. Step one, we're on like step 4,000, okay. Okay, now to give us some depth, we're going to make a sort of chest shape. So, white pieces are probably good for that. Okay, so now we have the chest. We'll need to attach that better, but not for another couple minutes. <laughs> so we want a logo for the robot, obviously. All right, so day three, and I've made a decision. Uh, I don't think it's worth it to put a bunch of work into making the arms move because now they're not opening up a cage door. They're not really doing anything. So I say we build some shoulder boxes, make it look cool, but there's no reason for the arms to actually move. Build the top, and then we're gonna grab our second EV3, and then we're going to put it down here. So all we have to do is connect this one to that one. That should be pretty simple. And then we should be good. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this trick called hanging cords that uh, don't need to hang. <laughs> like that. Oh man, looks very robot-y. Uh, okay. This project is done and it took five hours and 44 minutes. I'm gonna go test it out, fix like two bugs in the programming and then we're gonna take it over to set B to test it and bring some people in to see what they think of it. We're gonna go do that, I'll see you there. Okay guys, here we are, we have completed the device. We're going to call it Trivia, and it works. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on this. This thing will turn on, they'll both turn on. This thing is massive, I gotta say. Like, the chest just looks the biggest. And? My job is to make your life better. Check that out. You can see the face moves and the head moves. So I just wanna show you guys just some Press of the, the features. To play. Do you want a treat? Answer my questions and you might get a treat. Okay, so you get the point. I'm gonna go get some more people to test this thing and see what they think and we'll get their reaction. So this is a game where you can get free candy if you're smart. So if you answer the questions correct, so when you're ready, you can press the middle button on the face and then. God is good, true or false. What was the question? It reads it on the screen. Okay, true or false. Congrats, your IQ is at least one point above average. That's totally you talking. 
1 plus 7 minus 4 times Your gum 2 came out. equals 8. True or false? 1 plus 7 is 8. Minus 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So it falls! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you sure? So what do you think? That was a cool rally. Okay, get out of here. I'm gonna be the next person. <laughs> Elon Musk is the richest man in the world. True or false? You did it, Ryan. <laughs> Cockroaches can live up to 180 days. True or false? Don't quit your day job. You dumb. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna call up Astonishing Studios and see what he thinks. What's up? <laughs> here is my robot. And it's a deep little guy. It is. It also talks if I turn it on. Okay, the first question is Elon Musk is the richest man in the world. True or false? I think it changes from time to time, but I think now it's true. I think it's holding steady. Alright. Don't quit your day job, you dumb. Lego has produced over 3,700 different molds. True or false? <sighs> I feel like it's almost in the 10,000, so I'm gonna say false. It's true, it, it is more. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna hit true. You did it, Ryan. Wow. And that's perfect because I just spit out my gun. Guys, go follow Astonishing Studios because he actually put in like more than half of the programming for this. And so, thanks, big thanks to him for helping me out with this. Thanks, Marcel. Appreciate you. So I'd say that was a huge success. We got we got this thing to work multiple times. It asked some of the same questions. Some of the other ones were like, duct tape was originally invented by Richard A. Duct. True or false? The answer is false. I just made that up. Well guys, that is how you build a Lego robot that will ask people questions and make them feel stupid. Also make sure you encourage people after you ask them the questions. They like that a lot better and they will stay your friend that way. The only thing about it I'd say is sometimes like the candy like gets stuck right here so it doesn't come out all the way. That's just a flaw in designing. I, I, you know, I only had five hours and 44 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon too so you don't miss any of our future uploads. We upload once a week, sometimes twice, sometimes once. It just kind of depends on the schedule. Comment down below if you want to get merch soon, just because. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. My name is Riley and I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See you then.